What's going on YouTube? Jessica Short here and I am back to bring you yet another recipe that we are going to be making today. So I got my big skillet here and I have already filled it up. I'm going to tell you what recipe we're going to be making. I call it stuffed pepper casserole. It is a family favorite here in our house. Now I initially started by making stuffed peppers. It's too much it's too much pepper. My kids didn't like it. I didn't like it. We have found that we like this better. Now what I do is I get these packets of hot sausage, gives it a little bit of spice. At Costco, it's a four pack. Um, just one of these packs is all you need for this recipe. And what I do is I take those sausages out, I cut them open and I dump it out in this pot. And then I take that same knife and I do it like that in the pan. And some of you are probably gonna say, why don't you just get the ground sausage at the store? And I'm gonna tell you a little secret. It tastes better if you get the link, cut it out and do it like this in the pan. It has more flavor than versus getting the ground sausage. I don't know why, I can't tell you why, it just has more flavor doing it this way. Now, our pepper and onion is already prepped and cut in a bowl right here. Three red peppers, they're sweeter, they taste better, and one large onion. It's setting there to the side. We are gonna brown up our meat, and then we're going to add some other stuff to it. We are back, and our meat is browned up majority of the way. Here, I'm gonna angle this camera down so that you can see the meat and see me adding the spices in. First, we're gonna throw our bowl full of our already cut up onions and peppers. Remember I said three peppers and one large onion. You can get by with using two peppers if you don't want as many peppers. Um, they're not spicy peppers, just red pepper. I like red pepper best. You can add green pepper if you'd like. It's a preference. It's really up to you. Now our spices, McCormick garlic pepper. Like I said before, I do not measure my seasoning. And this is why I wanted to angle the camera down so you can see me adding it in. And I really do coat. Now we have our oregano here. And we have our basil here. And you're gonna stir this all up here so everything is nice and coated. You do not drain the meat because you want that to add flavor to this. It's also gonna help the onions and peppers cook as it's all cooking together. And after everything gets coated here, we are going to let this finish cooking until the peppers and onions get a little bit softer. All right, now you can see our meat, our peppers and our onions are all done there in the pan. So, let me reposition this camera so you can see over here. You can either cook your rice, let me reposition again. You can either cook your rice, or I get two packs, two of them. This is organic, it's Seeds of Change, quinoa and brown rice. And I'm just gonna dump these into my nine by 13 pan here. And after I, dump, after I dump my rice into that pan, I'm gonna add my meat mixture on top of that and I'm gonna mix it all together. All right, we have added everything to our nine by 13. As you can see, it has filled up this whole nine by 13. Now, what we're gonna do is add our mozzarella cheese on top of this. And we're just going to cover the whole top of this with our mozzarella cheese. And I do cover the whole top. use up 
in this whole little bag. Just go ahead and dump the whole thing out. Let me spill a little bit there. Got a clump, just break it up. Spread it out. Make sure it's nice and even. It's gonna bake for 350 in the oven for 30 minutes uncovered and it will be done. Um, now this recipe is adaptable for keto diet, uh, keto, however you want to pronounce it, doesn't matter because I say things differently. Um, if you are on the keto diet, uh, just don't add the rice. It's pretty simple. Um, if you're doing 21 day fix or 21 day fix extreme, um, it's easily adaptable for that as well because I have made those for those diets as well. Um, just either keep the rice out and add the rice in later or um, just make it with the rice and use your measuring cup. And I mean, basically just use your head when you're making your serving size when it comes to those diets. But nice, healthy meal, feeds the family. My family enjoys this recipe, so I make two of these. Um, bake it, enjoy it, and we'll catch you later. Comment down below if you like this recipe. If you have some recipe ideas that you want me to make, new recipes or anything to try out, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. Um, I'll be coming out with new recipes, baking recipes I got coming at you, I promise. And I got more supper ideas and stuff coming at you. I'll talk to you later, YouTube. Bye.